In a sad reality of the security situation in Nigeria, some heavily armed bandits were seen in a jubilant mood in a viral video. They were dancing and shooting sporadically into the air in an apparent celebration <laughs> of a wedding in the forest. Let me share this video with you. I've been seeing this video since last week and it's so curious and you need to see what that industry is looking like now. You know, when I saw this video initially, I wanted to look out for the things that, you know, that, okay, maybe it's a foreign, these are foreign guys and everything. I listened carefully to what they were saying and everything, and I discovered that, oh, these are our people. Mm -hmm. And look at the camo flag, look at the police uniform. Mm -hmm. So it's not enough that you are driving <laughs> in one highway now, and some people, <laughs> anybody in camo flag stops you, it's not likely to be the regular uh, military guy. If I be these guys, the military fatigue, look at them. Full military not, rebellion. Not all the time that you see. These are uh, uh, Nigerian Army uniform, police uniform. You see even the desert camo yes, of the Nigerian yes. Army. One of mm. them was wearing it. Yes. We will see that one later. We are celebrating a wedding. And from, you see this is the desert mm -hmm. camo of the Nigerian Army. We've heard of arrest of people who sold army uniform to in Zamfara, especially. Uh, a soldier was arrested uh, because he and his wife sold the uh, army uniform to bandits. We don't know how the case has ended. Okay. In our country, those arrests are made, they will make noise about it, we but after hear. that you won't hear anything again. Okay, anything about the prosecution we are, asked, we are supposed to uh, let people know, so that by the time we make examples of them, the, the press will report it and then people can learn. But we, 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 do, we do not mm. do that. Judy, I'm, I'm worried the access access to this kind of munition. Yes, uh, through the border with Niger, these things will come in. They, first, they come to Libya, Libya they come into Chad, but you know Chad, our border with Chad is not really extensive, it's very small, our land border with Chad. So, but in the case of Niger, we are sharing border with Niger in no less than six states. Our border with Niger is almost 900 kilometers. So, through the border with Niger, a lot of these weapons come in, and many people have been arrested. We've seen videos of people who are arrested after coming into our country uh, to sell weapons to these guys. Because this seems to be a wedding, wedding ceremony, and these people are jubilating in the middle of the forest. They've created their own enclaves. They, they have their own world. Yeah, well, I, I, I have said it a number of times that government must um, take, must take, borrow some lessons from um, how Colombia and Sri Lanka managed to end insurgency. That of Colombia lasted for 53 years. Mm. You know, I mean, they're talking of uh, concluding some aspects by this month, this, you know, this month. So, government needs to really um, look at how these things were done, how they put an end to it. Because, for instance, in Colombia, 
FAC, you know, criminals, criminal groups were operating under the cover of the FAC rebels. You know, it's exactly what you have right now, you know, holding the fringes of Colombia and all of that. So, definitely something drastic must be done about these people because what they're only showing is that, you know, um, we, this is what we have in our arsenal and then uh, you can dare us. Mm -hmm. So maybe also send a message to government, okay, you brought the Tucanos, all right, we are ready for the Tucanos. You understand? And so... Uh, this is like the show of force. Yeah, show of force. So no, no, no serious country allows such a thing to, you know, to, 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 you know, to stay. No serious country allows such a thing. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. And look at the young man. It's ridiculous, yes. I mean, look at, look at. Of course, these are people, you know, poverty is Very rife. Poverty guys. is rife. Poverty is rife in North. So a lot of young people are easy, you know, can be easily recruited into criminal activities. And what do you do with a high number of out of, out of school children? So I do hands, you know, I do hands are being recruited into, you know, a, a criminal enterprise. And that's what you see, you know, it's even terrible. putting on the uniforms of the Nigerian military and the police is also an affront on our institution. You see, that's what we've been, you know, talking okay. about.